Greetings and welcome to our program today. More controversial news. Already on December 26, 2008, political scientist Andrei Okara predicted a scenario in the Russian newspaper Utro, which should draw careful attention in our day. He was asked what could be expected when Obama or McCain become President of the United States. The interview saved under www.archive.org has been verified and is well known. Andrei Okara's words are shocking. Obama will start a third world war beginning from Crimea. Under the new president of the USA then, Barack Obama, a military conflict should be affected in Crimea. Political scientist Andrei Okara substantiated his prognosis with the words, this became absolutely clear when we saw which people are going to be in Obama's closest circles. These are people whose jobs are on Wall Street. These are people who deal with the technology, so-called technology of controllable chaos. Crimea will become the focal point of a global conflict from which, unfortunately, World War III might develop. This scenario seems to be taking place at the moment before our eyes. Does the following news, unpublished by mainstream media, correlate to these predictions? Well, it might seem absolutely unbelievable at first. This has been com competently researched and confirmed. Israel has closed its embassies worldwide. In diplomatic circles, they are speaking of a strike, whatever that might mean. But the situation takes on a volatile character in the light of the German Chancellor and her entire cabinet visiting Israel end of February. During this visit, Germany obligated itself to take over all diplomatic issues for Israel in the countries where Israel has no embassies. Barely two weeks later, on the 4th and 5th of March 2014, Israel closed all of its embassies worldwide. The question now remains whether Germany can now be made responsible for all of Israel's so-called diplomatic issues globally whether or not Chancellor Merkel and her entire cabinet of ministers knew about these plans or whether they were manipulatively pulled into the issue by the government of Israel, the result will be the same. Whatever Netanyahu might be planning, German heads will roll in the end. We ask the question, why was such a weighty matter not even mentioned with a single word in the mainstream media? Is it appropriate, in view of such dramatic developments, to distract people with news concerning dubious offenses of a sausage producer or continually bombard them with questionable anti-Russia propaganda? Pass this on. Pass this news on and let others know any way possible what the mainstream media is keeping silent about. Europe's future might depend on it. Das Schicksal Europas könnte davon abhängen. Bleiben Sie dran, es folgt ein weiterer Medienkommentar.